constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. UNP parliamentarians disrupted proceedings carried out by the COP. We won't be able to find anyone from the UNP who is not involved in the bond issue. The UNP members of the COP weren't ready to even sign when Dugunasekara was trying to compile the final COP report. Once parliament was dissolved, Sujiva Senasinghe, who added footnotes to the report, requested for restraining orders to stop the report from being published. Government parliamentarians are shameless looking for a way out of this fraud by talking about ministerial privileges. Aloysius met with me once before the general elections. He handed over 100,000 rupees for my election campaign. I never knew him before. Meanwhile, several views were expressed over the recent incident where the Northern Provincial Education Minister avoided hoisting the national flag. Recently, we saw fake drama enacted in Vaunia by refusing to hoist the national flag. We have arrived at a time where we should understand that there is a difference between fake patriotism and actual patriotism. Our public will not benefit through fake patriotism. Our view is that we should not work based on language. I will hand over all details collected regarding this incident to the Attorney General. The process of taking action will stop there. There could be other legal action to be taken. A court order pertaining to this incident only means there will be crucial consequences pertaining to the Constitution, Provincial Councils, Provincial Council Ministers and the National Flag.